Rebecca Stadler. Welcome to this week's Pirate Fight Club. Um, this week, we've got a question about how can you protect a philosophy? So let's say you're a life coach or you're a physical fitness trainer or um, or you're trying to teach people different methods of teaching. Um, how can you protect that? So this can be a tricky one because um, normally it would be considered maybe a method or a process um, which could be covered by patent. Uh, but a lot of times it can be very difficult to protect something like this because it, it any of the steps would be considered mental steps. Um, they might be considered obvious. So patent isn't the best way to go, and patents can be very expensive. Um, one can certainly try to file a provisional patent application to cover a philosophy, but it, it, it's um, and then follow up with the non-provisional. But it, it can be very difficult. Um, so if you've got textbooks and manuals, um, any of the photographs in there, and the way that the textbook is laid out, that would be covered by copyright. Um, it's not particularly strong protection in this case. Um, and then the last, the last little bit. Um, that might help with protection is trademark. So if you've got a name for your philosophy, you can protect it with a trademark and a logo, and then that will keep anyone away uh, that wants to use a confusingly similar name or logo, but it doesn't actually protect the content. So I get this phone call a lot where somebody's got a philosophy, um, a method of teaching, a method of working out, and they're just, it's, it's very difficult to train the specific, uh, to protect the specific method. So uh, it can be a little tricky, uh, but if you do have any other questions about protecting philosophies, um, put them in the comments or, or in a new post and I can answer them in an upcoming episode. See you next time.